Hey everyone, my name is Steph. This is The Novelty Corner and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to talk about my 2024 digital reading journal. Now I have filmed one of these for the last couple of years where I've shown you how I've set everything up. I've also had a free PDF that you can download and you can use it in a PDF editing app on iPads like GoodNotes or whatever it is that you choose to use, or you can print it out and use it as a regular reading journal if you would like to. Mine always follow a very similar style. I like this black and white front cover, so I'm keeping that. And then I'm going to be also at the end of this video setting up my version of the journal. So in a moment, I am going to switch to more of a StreamYard view so that you guys can actually see really clearly what the journal looks like. I will talk through all of the different pages that I've included. If there's anything missing or you would like to see, I'm very happy to play around with some ideas and, and upload them as additional pages that you can add later on if you would like to. But I'm really happy with 2024's journal. I had a lot of fun setting up my journal and my pages. It's taking me a while to add my physical TBR because <laughs> that's something that I'm going to be tracking very much so next year to try and reduce that because for a while I got it down to a very manageable number and now it's just blown back out of proportion so I need to work on that. Having the reading journal has been really helpful because I put all of the images on there and then I cross them off as I read them and it makes my heart so happy. Stick around, I will go through everything that's in the journal, I will then show you what mine looks like and if you go into the description you'll be able to download a PDF of this journal that you are very welcome to use. If you do download it and share it on social media, I would love if you could tag me. I'm at Novelty Corner and basically everywhere. So that would be really nice if you could do that. But otherwise, I hope that you enjoy this video and I will have regular check-ins for how I set everything up through resets and, and whatnot. Here we have my reading journal for 2024. You'll see this is the sample one because I actually have already got another copy that I've started decorating and whatnot, which I will insert a clip of later, as I've said. And yeah, I thought I would just go through everything that's included in the printable slash downloadable one that you can grab from the description. As I've said, I really enjoy black and white stripes on my journals. The ones from the last couple of years have had them and then I just find a way to personalize and decorate them each year. So just the front cover just says reading journal and 2024 down the bottom. And then when you scroll to the next page, you have a nameplate page if you'd like to use it. There is also a reading stats page if you like to keep track of that. A reading tracker. Most of these will be very familiar to you if you used my last year's planner. There is a monthly favorites page with multiple spellings. The correct spelling is the first one though, just saying. <laughs> oh gosh, can't take me anywhere. Then there is two anticipated releases pages, one for the first half of the year, one for the second half of the year. If you guys have seen me use this before and you will in the sort of setup of my journal, I just put the book covers in, I just grab them and drop them in. You could also use it to make a list. Then there are the TBR pages and I have quite a few different versions of this because I know people have started calling it different things this year to take pressure off themselves, which I think is great. So there is TBR, there's physical TBR, digital TBR, Kindle Unlimited TBR if you like to separate things out. There is also On My Radar, which I quite like. I like the On My Radar. And there is also Maybe Next, which I also like. And I use these pages to put in covers of the physical books that I own that I need to read because I like to check them off as I go. There is a Did Not Finish page. I like this because this just helps me keep track of what I've not finished. I just put the cover in. And then we have our monthly cover pages. So all of the months get their own black cover page. Just like last year, I have the books read bookshelf page if you like to do the book spine thing. I've also kept in the book review page if you want to use that if you like to write longer reviews. I've also put in a couple of blank pages. So there is a really black page and there is more of a um, sort of matte black page if you want to swap out any of the covers. There are also, this is particularly if you are using GoodNotes or one of the note taking apps, I've put in different headers because in GoodNotes you can select, like this is all a flattened image, but you can select it and take a screenshot. 
and copy it. And then, for example, go back in here and paste it. And then you can go in if you want to crop it. You can, you can make it bigger or smaller. You can do whatever you like with it. And I figured having these options means you can change out headers where you need to. So there's all of this in the main font. I've also included a scripty font. Don't worry about this, Stephanie. I used it for something in my journal. So that won't be in your one. There's another font option. So you just have options if you want to change out headings. You can also use your own fonts and just use the text tool. Because I keep track of videos, I also have a videos page template, which I'll just copy and drag into each month. And that's basically everything that's in the template as such. So there's how many pages overall? 34 pages. And yeah, you just get to choose between which options you want to use, which ones make you happy. And yeah, you can have some fun with it. So what I'll do now is I will cut to me setting up my 2024 journal and then we'll get to the wrap up.
Okay, so now that you guys have seen me set this reading journal up, I thought I'd talk through some of my decisions. I really wanted to use this really cute graphic that was made for me last year on my journal page. And I used this as my December cover page at the end of 2023 and I really liked it. So I literally just copied the entire design across because in the end it made me happy and I wanted to keep it and have it on the front of a journal. I also customized my first page. I'm really happy with how this looks. So all of the clouds and sparkle items, they all came from Canva. I just downloaded them and created them as an image. I loved my reading tracker in 2023. I've changed up the color palette a little bit just to reflect sort of the colors on the page. I've started putting in my anticipated releases for 2024. I'm sure there will be plenty more that come up throughout the year. And in fact, I know since I filmed this, I, I have started to add more to my, I have a running list in Evernote that I just add to, and then every now and then I come back in and update this one. And then, as I said, I decided to go with the maybe next header and yeah, I've had a lot of fun. I haven't finished filling this in and I don't think I was able to record much of this because it kept crashing my iPad when I was filming, but having my physical TBR listed this way makes it a lot easier and really satisfying when I come in and I check off what I've read. And often I use my monthly theme to, to do that. So I still have more to add to this because those are mostly the things that are on my TBR cart or things that I know were left over from last year's TBR that I didn't read yet, but I still have a, a stack of things that I need to add. I've set up my did not finish page and then we will be going into January, but I will have my January set up in my January reset video as per usual. And this year I have decided that I'm going to go with my favorite books of 2023 as themes for each month. So I'm going to try and do something with book covers and designs and quotes and whatnot for each month. So I'm hoping that I enjoy that as a theme for each month. Thanks so much for watching. As I said at the start of the video, you can download a PDF of this journal down below. If you do download it, please just let me know that you've downloaded it. I just like to know if people are using it or having a look at it. And if you just want to let me know that you're here, but you don't want to leave a comment, feel free to leave a book stack emoji down below. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.